Fontaine Heavy Haul offers the most versatile, reliable hydraulic equalizing spreader in the industry. Remarkably, it takes only a few minutes to disconnect or connect it to the trailer. So achieving optimum weight distribution for your load and protecting your investment is now easier than ever. In these next few minutes, we will show you how truly fast and easy it is to operate a Fontaine HES spreader. As with all heavy equipment, remember to exercise extreme caution, follow all stated and customary safety procedures, and position the trailer on firm, reasonably level ground. To connect the spreader, align the two holes of the top lugs between the spreader and the bogey. Insert the pins. Attach the washers and fasten the pin retainers on both sides of the spreader. Now align the two holes of the bottom lugs between the spreader and the bogey. Insert the pins, attach the washers, and fasten the pin retainers on both sides of the spreader. Align the holes of the top lugs between the spreader and the axle. Insert the pins, attach the washers, and fasten the pin retainers on both sides of the spreader. Align the holes of the bottom lugs between the spreader and the axle. Insert the pins, attach the washers, and fasten the pin retainers on both sides of the spreader. Attach the air and electrical lines at the front and rear of the spreader. Position and secure your load properly on the trailer deck and use the gooseneck and bogey ride height adjustments to achieve a proper level deck height. Make sure that the fourth axle dump valve is closed. Check the fluid levels on the spreader motor and make sure that the hydraulic tank return line gate valve is in the closed position. Make sure the accumulator isolation valve is in the open position. Start the spreader motor. Using the onboard spreader hydraulics, put pressure on the rear axle to equalize the load between the rear axle and the bogey axle group. When the distance between the top of the axle and the bottom of the lower beam flange on all of the axles is within one inch, the axles are properly equalized. After the axles are equalized, turn off the spreader motor and open the hydraulic tank return line gate valve to allow pressurized oil to return to the tank during transit on uneven terrain. Allow sufficient time for the air ride leveling system to equalize. Then recheck the axle to flange measurements and adjust if necessary. Caution! Before moving the trailer forward, remove the backup pin. If the trailer is moved forward with the backup pin engaged, damage to the trailer could occur. Warning! Before backing up the trailer, make sure the backup pin is installed and the fourth axle is off the ground. The backup pin must be installed before lifting the fourth axle. Use the onboard spreader hydraulics to lift the fourth axle. Failure to install the backup pin before lifting the fourth axle or backing up the trailer could result in bodily injury or damage to the trailer. This successfully completes the Fontaine Hydraulic Equalizing Spreader operating procedure. The Fontaine Heavy Haul system is built tough and is easy to operate, so you spend more time on the job and less time loading and unloading your cargo. Plus, since it's a Fontaine, you know you can count on lasting performance mile after mile. Let's get to work.